Okay, bitches and bitchettes, here's the situation. Now that Daddy's dead, I'm in charge, temporarily. And by temporarily, I mean forever, of course. Uh, what? Okay, so, what's the dealio? Well, if you remember from the last nutshell, the Dragon Song War isn't quite over yet, so let's, you know, end it. Solid plan. So what do you propose we do? Well, this would have been much easier if Ysail hadn't kamikaze the Garleans, but we must parlay with the dragons. Actually, as far as talking down dragons go, she was over to, so I'd say she wouldn't have actually helped. Did I ask for a mentor? Anywho, take Ms. Garley and turn out here and do your thing. Let's do this, people! Let's end the Dragon Song War once and for all! What do you want? Tell your dragon buddies to knock it off. War is over. It's just your uncle who's being a douche nozzle about it. Oh, um, well, uh, first, first you, you must, must defeat, defeat Ravana. I, I can't, can't leave this, this place, place until he. We did that already! Jeez, can't you do anything for yourself? I don't know why I'm even here. Can I go? What? Yes, go! We didn't even need you in the first place! If we are to locate Minfilia and Thancred... Do we really need to locate Minfilia? We have enlisted help from a colleague from Shalian. Is... Is that Louise from Bob's Burgers? My name is Kryle. Like from Final Fantasy V? Yes, from Final Fantasy V. Oh, and that's going to get really old if you do it for every name borrowed from previous games. So knock it off, and just assume in the future. Okay, so how are you going to help? Help? <laughs> That's above my pay grade. You're gonna need to seek the help of- Don't you dare say Matoya! Matoya! We will need her crystal eye. God damn it, I hate you. Oh god. What is it now? What do you want? I have precious moments left on this star, and you're wasting them. You have ten seconds. Uh, Crystal Eye, find friends, you help? You wasted time with the uh there, but sure, you can use it. Are we looking for Dumb and Dumber, or doing a seance? Shh. Okay, I couldn't find Minfilia, but we found Thancred, so win-win. What the hell? Is that me? They're like us, but with a cat girl. And how come they can defeat Ravana with just five people? Those dipshits are breaking the rules. Nothing's stopping you facing him unsynced. Pay attention to this, Herbert. This is planting seeds for a great story later. Emphasis on great. We are warriors of a different path. We are the warriors of darkness. The writers haven't nailed down my teammates' personalities yet, so they shall remain awkwardly silent. Warriors of Darkness? Are you for real? <laughs> uncle! Uncle! We surrender! Did somebody order a dashing savior of the day? Uh, uh, ah! Oh god, the smell! Retreat! You haven't seen the last of us, Warriors of Light! What up, my scions? You look like you haven't showered in weeks. I've been living like a monkey man in the wilderness, even though actual civilization is like a, a five minute walk from here. You've been living like this for almost a year. What? I've only been here for a week at most. Wait, we did the entire plot of Heaven's Sword over the course of a week? No wonder I'm so tired all the damn time. Well, Yoshi P refuses to give an actual time frame for this story. We've celebrated, like, eight anniversaries of the Calamity already! 
get off my back! Oh, what a beautiful night to walk through the shady poor part of the city. Oh, heavens, I appear to have been stabbed. Ah, bitch, what the f***? Mother f***, God damn it! I'm not letting a little stab wound slow me down. That being said, fanatics of Storm's Vault, go fix it. When did he become our boss? I am not going back in the vault. Bad things happen in the vault. The fanatics have taken a child hostage. Okay, well, now you definitely have to do it, otherwise you're a dick. Stay back, or I will drop this child to their death. Go ahead. No skin off my nose. Nope. Don't listen to him. What are your demands? Well, uh, actually, I don't know. Didn't think I'd get this far. I mean, I'm just some old guy. This place was guarded by highly trained knights. By all accounts, it makes no sense. Oh well. Enjoy having a dead kid on your conscience! Wait! No! <laughs> I just can't shake the feeling I was supposed to be doing something to do- oh, Alright, remember how we started looking for Minfilia earlier, and then we got distracted? Not really. Matoya has granted us access to the Anti-Tower, so chop chop. Okay, well we're here. Now what? Hear. Feel. Think. Well, that's convenient. Oh, are we not going with him this time? I don't think he's going to absorb whatever info dump he's about to receive. What? Wait, you guys aren't just skipping cutscenes? You're skipping cutscenes?! I am the word of the Mother Crystal. Behold my etherical fashion, and weep for you have to purchase it on the Mog Station store if you want it. Minfilia? What the hell? What's a mod station? How did you get a new dress? Heed my words, warrior of light, or I will part wisdom to you that will aid your journey. Better question! Where did you get that new dress? Once upon a time, Zodiac was banished, but in the chaos, the planet was split into 14 shards, each reflecting the original star. Did Hydaelyn give you that dress? Why would she do that? The Asians seek to make the star whole and bring Zodiac back. They have succeeded in plundering seven shards into oblivion. Seriously, why would she give you a new dress? What purpose does that serve? You know what? Forget it. I tried. Don't come crying to me and Shadowbringers when you don't understand the story. Hydaelyn's powers grow weak. Or something. Get lost. Bye, Midvilia! Well? Minfilia has a new dress. Is that it? Where is she? I don't know. <sighs> Minfilia has become a mouthpiece for Hydaelyn. She ain't coming back. Game over. Angry! But... But no. This can't be. This isn't fair. We were going to be BFFs for life. She pinky promised. Suck it up, Buttercup. War is war. People die. Get over it. Matoya is right. Come on, gang. Let's go kill some Asians. <laughs> but I'm with Granny Grumps here. Man the f up, you baby giraffe. Ah, a hard day's work. Time to have a hearty drink and get out of the cold. One tap water, please, bar wench. My lord, wouldn't you rather a nice, frothy pint of ale? Nah, I don't drink beer. But I already put the day rape drug in the beer. I mean, I already poured it for you. Ugh, fine. <laughs> now, even though I need you to stay out of the way so I can do my protest, 
I'll leave you there instead of locking you up. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to draw on his face. No peace with dragons! Boo! I say boo! Yeah, but why? Shut up! Okay! Stop her! Roger! No! I meant like restrainer or something! Well, you weren't exactly clear, my lord. Now everyone is gonna hate me! They already did, Sawyer. I know I don't punch him there, but we're kind of steamrolling through this story, and we couldn't leave that iconic punch out. Uh, we shall unite the allied nations by beating the shit out of each other. Okay, so I'll represent Limsa Lomisa. Oh no, darling, you're fighting for Ishgard whether you like it or have mods. It kind of feels like I'm just running shitty quests for you now instead of Minfilia. Yes, you are my bitch now. Fighting one-armed Willy over here? This will be a piece of ca- Wait a minute. You're going to widen to reveal me impaled on his sword, aren't you? No, I am going to stab you mid-sentence instead. Oh, well that sucks- <laughs> And although we cannot bring back those we've lost, except Ishtola, Estinian, Gaius, Yatsuyu, Gasetsu, Ishtola again- <laughs> Spoilers! I unveil this monument and declare peace between man and dragon. Yay for dragon peace! I object! You fools! Did you forget about me? You will all perish! My rage will not be quenched! And even though everyone instrumental in Ishgard's side of this war is conveniently together in this small area, I shall waste this opportunity to kill you all by flying away! Don't miss the final showdown at the Hyundai Center! I mean, final steps of faith! August 4th, be there! Well, f Maybe they didn't even notice it? Okay, everyone. Shout this carefully. Seriously, I'd sound out each syllable rather than just say it. Kill Nidhogg! Kill Nidhogg! Kill Nidhogg! Kill Nidhogg! Okay, they noticed. Big PR disaster for you, bud. Fine. Let's go kill Nidhogg. Come on here, bud! I am not your personal lapdog! We need Resfigur's help, and to do that, we have to earn it by undertaking a trial. And by we, you mean me! Wrong, Buttmunch! Both Alphano and I are also going to partake... ...off-screen. Why do we always say five minutes later? Dungeons never take five minutes. Okay, cool. You cleared a dungeon, which makes you worthy or something. When the time comes... You have my aid. If only Nidhogg would give a convenient signal of when he's going to attack. I am going to attack! That'll do it. Kill Nidhogg, and the war ends. What are you, vampires? If I killed Yoshi P... Would you not all die, too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's not pull on that thread. Let's waste this shade. Rage! Please kill me. Back to rage! Quickly, we must remove the eyes from Astinian. Oh, that was anticlimactic. This, Hubert. This is why I don't like your friends being here all the time. Hey! We are not his friends. So, are you gonna need us? No. You can go, I guess. Awesome! Oh, by the way, don't die naked. 
The way you look when you die is what you look like forever. Okay, peace, homies. No! Don't go! Oh, shh. Quick, sail. Quick, you must cast the eyes into the abyss. Would it not make more sense just to destroy them? No, throw them now! You can't see the bottom down there, so surely no one will go to the effort to retrieve them. And thus ended the Dragon Song War, and my narration of this story. Nothing else of value happened afterwards, so this is the end of my memoirs. You better not have put in that part about me getting stabbed. Ha <laughs> ha, uh, of course not. Good, because I will sue you for libel. Ha <laughs> uh, well, actually, I, I better make a few edits. Hey, can I have a read of that? W wait no uh... Milk, eggs, bread... A fresh salt li wait a minute, this is just your grocery list? What the hell? You haven't been writing anything? Thanks. Guess I'll have to find a new place to live, huh? Uh, I guess? Where did you live before? I don't know why you said that, to be honest. I don't know. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm a girl in whatever is being referenced here. I am not amused. <laughs> oh, how you spin a riveting tale, my friend. Uh, I, I just sat down! May I interest you in some off-screen decanted wine? Perhaps I can interest you in a lick of my salt rock. Um, no. I don't really even know why I'm here, to be honest. Let me in. He doesn't appreciate you, Lord Emmerich. He doesn't even want to be there. I wish you would take me to a fancy dinner, Herbert. I'm also out here for some reason. Master Herbert, your presence is required urgently. Oh, thank God! I shall come too. Leave me alone! Wait, Alfino? But he's already there. What? Have you seriously not been paying attention? Did you seriously think I was a girl? Did you seriously think I was Alphino? Alice was tracking the Warriors of Darkness and sucked balls at it. So I bailed her out. F*** you, buddy. You're supposed to be in a coma. So we're back on the Warriors of Darkness shit again? Afraid so, bud. Oh man, we have so much left to cover until Stormblood in this nutshell! I told you to stop calling it a nutshell. And I told you, shut up! Would you like a brief PowerPoint slideshow on who Alizé is? Nah, we did coils, we're good. Aw, oh, come on. I already had everything set up. We stopped the summoning of Garuda! Good. I don't want to see your gross bird woman fetish come out again. It's the Warriors of Darkness. And some of them have lines this time. Hey! I thought I killed you. No, that was my sister. Is... is that Urianje with a face mask? Nay. I am a warrior of darkness. Thou art... I mean, you are our sworn enemy. Urianje? You said your name was Artemis Pendragon! We will talk about this later. Warriors of darkness, away! Seriously, though, that was Urianje, right? Does he not realize how paper-thin his disguise is? All right, I'm back, bitches. Now is the time I show not only am I not female Alphino, I am the superior twin. Where have you been for the past expansion and a half? Nanya. Nanya? None your f***ing business, bitch! The Warriors of Darkness are in league with the Asians. Let me at him! The kobold chief has stolen a hold of crystals and has used them along with the bodies of this kobold child's parents in an attempt to summon Titan once more to combat the ever-encroaching forces of Limsa Lominsa. That was a mouthful. I'm Gabu, by the way! Wait, what was that about my parents? <laughs> well, f Go! Carbuncle! We must get out of here! 
Don't you want to recall your carbuncle? Seems kind of cruel to just leave it there to die. Did I stutter? Fine! Well, Gabu is f I mean, curing tempering? Ha! When pigs fly. So let me get this straight. We killed those guys if it tempered, but this titan summoning child is kosher. Can... can I have my character building moment in peace, please? So basically, I'm amazing. And if anything, Alpha No is the male Alize. You're not living that one down. I know, I know, we're sorry! Do you know how humiliating it was to record that line? We're filming! <clears throat> I mean, yeah. I'm Alize, biatch. Hey up, lads. Listen to my high-pitched Yorkshire accent and know this. Revolution is upon us. Justice for Alamigo! And remember, we will not settle for sloppy seconds. Oh, you can't see me face because of the mask, but uh, I'm winking knowingly. Oh no, we're about to do Stormblood, aren't we? Is... is that... It's Yoda and Papa Elmo! Do you remember anyone's name? Shut up, Lisa! Oh, hey! What's up? What are you guys doing here? We're helping. Helping with what? Setting up Stormblood. I'm Ida! They've got us on the ropes. If only some last-minute savior could turn the tides in our favor. Something cool! What? Tancred said I should turn up at the last minute and say, something cool. Yeah, I didn't get it either. Bastards! Well, we have our own ace in the hole! I'm afraid thou hast fallen victim of mine deception, for thine allegiance lie with the Scions. For I am actually Orion J. We know! Rudith, now everyone calm thine tits and hold out thine crystal. This will bringeth us to Hydaelyn's domain, for some reason. Oh, what now? Can't a woman just persistently exist in a state of ambiguous etherical status in peace? What the first is this? Oh, it's you guys. Yeah, old Heidi feels bad for you guys and will intervene to aid your world. Okay, I'll settle for that, I guess. Since you know, I'm dead! I'm Arbor, by the way. Their names don't matter yet. Wait, so if you guys are actually just misunderstood, why did you all talk like stereotypical cliché anime villains? Do you really care? No, not really! But I'll be damned if I don't get an explanation for where Minfilia got that damn dress! For f**k's sake! It's an etherical construct symbolic of my current form as the word of Hydaelyn. Do you need everything spoon-fed to you like a child, you dense f**k? Yeah, yes Right. Let's get you guys back to your world to, uh... Die properly and save the world, I suppose. Yay. Here, have Tupsamati. What? Louisois staff. Who? Just... just get out of here. I shall join your stupid little club, as the superior Levier twin. Well, that's up for debate. Anywho, Urianje has gone back to the Waking Sands, even though it's abandoned and we don't use it anymore. Probably because the hard mode primal quests are started from there, or he's using it to bang that creepy moon breeder doll he has. Elfino, give me Tupsamadi! Why? Oh my. Is this because of those allegations? Nothing was proven! As, as I, I grasped Tupsamadi, it was as if I'm gripping my very destiny in my hands. Oh! I'm narrating, narrating the story now, by the way, way and, and I'm going, going to beat, beat you over the head with the foreshadowing of my death. Okay, I'm being paged by the boss to move a plot along, so, um... Here, have these powerful dragon eyes and just, like, f*** shit up, fam. Hey, bag gum, that's bitching! Now I shall muse about cosmic nonsense out of context that will make no sense to you as a mortal. That's my friend! Wait, you have friends? Uh, the... the Resistance... They're plotting to attack Belsia's wall. 
We must needs form a plan of action. I shall go to Linza to seek an audience with the Admiral. Thancred, you go to Uldal. Alphino and I will head to Gridania. The Grand Hippie will surely assemble the Eorzean leaders. Hyabert, you go to Ishgard and inform Amaric, since he's your boyfriend. He is not my boyfriend! He's my friend with benefits! POLITICAL BENEFITS! I'm Hilda, by the way. Um, okay. Didn't ask, but... Oh no! The wall is under attack by the Grand Companies! But we didn't order any attack! We will take a two-pronged approach. We'll send the useless scions under the wall to reason with the griffin. Meanwhile, you guys will- We'll scale the wall and do all the real work? I mean, if you're offering. Okay, fine. Let's go, gang. Don't you dare say five minutes later. So this is the wall built by old gay-ass Van Balsack himself, huh? I didn't get to use that one while he was alive. You may have defeated me. But I think you will soon see a glimpse of things to come. Ocular! Deploy the Totorak boss reskinned as a mech! <laughs> yeah, you see that? See how futile war is? Are you getting my subtle message yet? Anyhow, peace out, bitches. reason we stood there and let him do that? Seven hells! I shall sacrifice myself to seal away this foul summoning! Don't try to stop me! I'm serious! The spell is very volatile and you might- Oh yeah, they left as soon as you said you were sacrificing yourself! What about you? Well, they- HEY! I thank you all for coming. I hate it when you get the medium room rotation. It stinks of weed, and my feet are damp! Yeah, well, the last post-expansion meeting that took place at Uldar almost killed Nanamo and lost you your arm. Now, how do we stop Dalamud to Electric Boogaloo? I believe I can be of assistance. No! No, 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 Anyone but Nero. Nah, rude. I have a question. Nero, was it? Bitch, don't pretend you don't remember my name. How do you propose we stop this thing? Simple. There's a super powerful mech buried at Cartano. We boot it back up, point it at the primal, and BAM! Complete global saturation. <laughs> I mean salvation of Eorzea. Don't think your deeds at the Crystal Tower did- Did you do the Crystal Tower? It's mandatory now, but yeah, we did. Okay. Cool. Is what I'd say if I trusted you, Nero! Need I remind you, I was the f***ing legend that brought Ultima Weapon to life? Maybe don't bring up the fact that you helped create the nuke the Empire threatened the Alliance with in front of them. What say you, friend? Ah, uh, I don't think I really have the authority to speak for the Allied Nations. Enough farting around. We accept. Do your thing, Nero. Is this Sayors here? Jesus Christ, you f***ing stink! Such foul language! This is Eorzea! I must find Eugenie! And give her brief plot relevance once more! Uh, this loud cartoon character has turned up looking for Yu-Gi-Oh over there. Is it true, Yugiri, that you have been drawing blades with the Empire? For tax purposes, yes, I've been fighting the Empire. F***ing poggers! LET'S FIGHT THE GALLIANS! I like this one. This is the drive I want behind the Lalafell Uprising. And how is that going, by the way? It's been on temporary pause. Okay, this should be simple. Unless a comical Team Rocket-like entity turns up to slow us down. It's like all my nine days have come at once! Right on cue. Listen. I kind of never really officially handed in a resignation notice with the Empire. So, can you handle this riffraff whilst I sneak off to get a head start on vague, morally grey motives with the Omega Controls? Okay, thanks, bye! God damn it, get back here, you rascal! 
Are you watching, Papa Limo? Ah, what a heartbreaking line! Are you watching, Papa Limo? And never mind, you ruined it! Kinda wish we went up there to watch the fight. It sounds rough up there. You sure Omega can win? Don't worry. I've seen a ton of kaiju flicks and mecha anime. The big robot always wins against the giant monster. Omega systems offline. Never mind, we're f***ed. Well, that, uh, went... okay. So we're in agreement. We declare war on Gollum all again. I mean, might as well. Suits me. Hm. I'm game. Weren't we already at war with Garlemald? Shh! And now, time for a pointless end of an expansion plot revelation as convoluted and as unnecessary as the whole mess with Nail Van Darnus. For you see, I'm not actually Ida. I am actually Lise! Who? Wait, so you were just pretending to be Ida all this time? Well, yeah! Didn't this give it away? Anywho, time to become a completely insufferable character for the next expansion! Yay. So, war is upon us. And soon Eorzea will clash steel with the Empire once more. Right. Who's for a game of Triple Triad then? Shouldn't we, like, go fight? Nah. The expansion's not out yet. Expansion? Isn't this a war? <sighs> Do I need to say it? Uh, fine. I'll stop resisting. <laughs>
My lord, Bailsar's wall has fallen to the Eorzean Alliance. Efforts to search for Omega and the unknown Akon are underway. Should we divert some of our men stationed at... Uh... Are you asleep? Uh... Okay, well... Sleep tight, my lord. <laughs>